Hey everybody, Hunter back again from Showtime Studios. Going to do a uh, little tutorial here today on a set of photo etched and aluminum wheels from uh, Machined Aluminum Specialties. And I picked these up, uh, it's been several years ago at NNL East. And um, the project that I showed you yesterday, or the kit that I got in from the Secret Santa Exchange, I'll be using these wheels on that kit. And I um, also was scanning through some videos today, and I've seen uh, CD uh, Speed Shop was uh, using a similar type of wheel, uh, also from Machine Aluminum Specialties. And uh sounded like he had a little bit of a, uh, kind of, uh, was a little hesitant on how he was going to put them together and um, whatever. So uh, I'm going to do a little tutorial on how I actually go about doing it and uh, some of the ins and outs of, of this wheel set. So uh, we'll pan the camera down here and we'll get started on this. All right, when you get the set in from them, you're going to have uh, four hubs that they give you. Uh, two of these I have. This is not actually the matching set that comes. I'm using two smaller hubs on the front from another set of his wheels. Uh, you would get the same size hubs. You'd get four of those. So, but I'm going to be using, since I'm going Pro Street with the big and the little, I'm going to use the uh, shorter, flatter ones on the front and the, the taller ones on the back. And with those, you'll also get uh, two of the aluminum turned rings, uh, which are very nice pieces. And you will get two of the small rings that actually have the steps uh, machined into them, uh, where they actually look like a real wheel. And you will get four centers. And these are photo etched, very nice, uh, a little bit hard to um, cut because I think this is actually stainless. Um, it's it's pretty uh, strong material to try to cut through, uh, but I just work through it with my photo etch snippers and uh, do a little bit of filing around the edges to clean it up. So uh, pretty easy way to do this is I've got uh, two wheels over here I've already got started for this, so I'm just going to show you... Um, how the parts go together, how I do it, and uh, a couple little added things. So once you get all of your centers off of the uh, fret, you just want to clean them up where the uh, attachment points were. Get that ready. Um, you'll have just a little bit left on there. Just take a file very lightly and clean that up. Get all that straightened out. And have all four of those done and laid over to the side. Now on the front wheels, what you're going to do is take one of the rings... And I'll zoom the camera in here a little bit so we can uh, see the parts a little bit clearer. There we go. Um, you want to take one of the outer rings and you will flip that upside down. And normally what I do is take a piece of scrap plastic and I will put a couple drops of super glue onto that plastic. Uh, you can actually do this with cardboard. I like plastic because it doesn't soak up the glue any. So, And also for this, you're going to need just a regular toothpick. And the easiest way that I have found to, um, to actually do these is to take a sanding stick. And you just want to lightly rub that across where you're going to be gluing uh, with your super glue. Now you can also do this with epoxy. Um, and you can also do it with uh, Crystal Clear uh, from Microscale Industries. I prefer to super glue. It works pretty good. And uh, I hit it with Accelerator uh, right after I put it on so I don't have to worry about it uh, fogging up the aluminum and making it white. So we've got to just sand that down a little bit. Made sure that was nice and flat on the inside. And your next step that you're going to do is just take the end of your toothpick and get a little bit of super glue on it. And I normally just put a, a couple of dots, well not a couple, I put several dots around the uh, perimeter of the rim here. And you want to keep these more toward the outside of the uh, rim and not actually in toward where the center is going to be. Because when you press this together you don't want the glue to squeeze out toward the inside. And don't put a lot on, you just want to put just a, just a little dot of super glue in. Uh, you don't need a whole lot to do this. You're not really holding a whole lot with it. So, And once you have that dotted, just take your center that you've already got cleaned up and ready to go. And just line it up 
All this stuff is the same uh, outer diameter, so you won't have an issue there. And while the super glue is still wet, you can actually um, slide that center around a little bit to get it right where you want it to be. And like I say, all this is the same outer diameter, so um, if you've got both pieces lined up and they're even all the way around, that's exactly where you need it to be. And once I get that on there and get everything centered up, I'll come back in and just hit that with a little uh, shot of the uh, instant set accelerator. That keeps the uh, wheel from fogging up and turning white like you get on a lot of aluminum parts if you're using um, super glue on them. And next I'll just go in and take off the extra accelerator. And now what we have is the aluminum wheel with the photo etch center installed into it. Now what I'm going to be doing on the front wheels on my particular build is I also have another set of his his uh, wheels and I'm going to be using another one of the rings uh, the outer rings on the inside and that will give me a true aluminum wheel all the way through um, very clean appearance and if you've got an engine bay that you can actually see toward the inside of the wheel when you look at the engine or whatever uh, if you can see the inside uh, diameter of the wheel this is a very good thing to do it's very clean looks good so that's what I'm going to be doing on my build. Now the next part that that you would do is there's one or two ways you can do this. I'm going to be using the um, uh, front runner tires that are going to be sanded down and um, you know all cleaned up and everything. I haven't done anything to these right now, uh, but I'm going to be using them on the front. So you can take your assembled outer rim and your center and press into the wheel at this point. And like I say, there is two different ways to do this. Uh, these uh, little tires here actually grab onto these aluminum pieces very well. So there is a, actually a step that you can kind of skip if you want to. Uh, they press in very tightly. Just get them down in there and get them centered. And then the same thing if you're, if you're going to do it this way, um, with the extra set of outer rings, you can just come on the inside and press the ring into the tire. Just like that. And now you have an assembled wheel and tire for the front. And we'll hold it up here and see if we can get a good view of it. There we go. Um, that would be the outside. And when you turn it around, it's almost an exact copy on the inside. Now, you notice I didn't glue the inner rim into place. Uh, like I say, with the press fit that's on these, you don't really need to do that. Uh, you can if you want to. And another way that you can also do it is I have another one of the uh, front wheels here with the photo etch center already installed in it. Um, if you want to go ahead and do it this way, you can do the same technique with your toothpick. Put a couple spots of super glue around the outside and just drop the inner rim right into place. Line it up, hit it with the accelerator, and you'll have a totally assembled rim. And then you can just push the whole thing through the tire. Now, a lot of times what I've ran into when you do that is it tends to want to pop it apart because of the press fit inside of the tire. So it depends on what particular tire you're using, whether you can get by with that or not. And uh, But when you're pressing it in, just be very careful and don't press on the center of the uh, rim because this little uh, photo etch part will bend. And if you ruin this, uh, there's really no going back from that. And um, But that's all we have on that. Now, for the people that do not want to use an extra set of um, outer rims where you'd have actually have to buy two sets uh, you can use the kit inner rims sometimes you'll have to uh, shave them down as far as the uh, the width of them to uh, get them to match up inside of your tires but it it's a very it comes out very well using the kit pieces on the inside you can do it that way um, I have done it and actually on the rears I'm going to show you how to do it that way so the same thing on the rears, uh, well, af actually after you get the uh, fronts assembled, the next step would be to take your hub and just put a couple little spots of super glue right on this back side of this flange. Just very lightly drop that into place. And when you're done, this is what your assembled wheel will look like.
uh, with the hub cover in it. And we'll try to get the camera to focus in here. There we go. And that's what it looks like with the hub cover in it. Pretty nice. I've got to do some cleaning up on these hub covers and um, a little bit of polishing to them. So they're not totally finished yet. So that's on the front wheels. Now the next step that we're going to do is the rear wheels. Same procedure. You just take one of the wider uh, rim halves and flip it over. Sand this inside edge. Put your super glue on just like we did on the front. Take your photo etch center. Set into place. Same thing. Nothing changes there. It's all the same procedure. And the only thing that's going to change up a little bit on that is I already have this one assembled. And I will be using these uh, Goodyear slicks that I'm starting to sand down now because when I'm done, these are actually going to be ET streets. I'm going to go ahead and make the letters for the side of them and um, put the uh, three grooves in the tread part of the tire to create an ET street. And then I'm going to cast these. And uh, that way I've only got to actually do one of them and I can cast uh, two copies and then I'll have the mold for later use. So. Uh, once I get all this done, if anybody's interested in a set of uh, Pro Street, uh, about 33, probably 18 and a half um, ET Streets in scale, I'll have them. So just uh, send me a message and um, we'll talk about the price on them. But what we're going to do next is we're going to slide the assembled outer rim with the center into the tire. And you just want to push that in until it seats flush with the outside bulge of the tire. You don't want to push it in too far because it will create a step in there, especially with these style slicks. Um, it, it creates a step that doesn't look realistic. So don't push it down into there too far. And there's also a nice press fit on these. They'll sit in place without any glue whatsoever. Um, and they'll even support your model uh, without being glued when you put the weight of the finished model on it. Now when we flip this over um, this is where we get into using a kit inner part and what I have done is I went into the parts box and I found a set of uh, inner wheels out of a Camaro kit and as you can see this has a solid center in it with the uh, mounting point here in the center. What I did is I went in and I actually cut that out and I created this ring. And basically the ring looks like a bigger version of what uh, you get in the um, aluminum wheel set. And what I would do with that is you want to go in and calculate how much of the inner you need um, as far as depth into the wheel. And you can trim that down, sand it down, get it all you know squared up and everything and you're good to go with that part. Then you can outclad this um, or you can send it out and have it... Um, you know, chrome plated from Chrome Tech or a uh, little motor car, but I'm going to outclad these in this case. And once you've got that done, with it being a press fit like it is, you can just slide that down in just like you did the outside wheel and seat it down in there like that. And make sure the outer part is seated. And once those two are pushed into the wheel, you now have a finished wheel assembly uh, for the rear. And the only other step that you would have at this point is you would take your center cap and drop your center cap into place. And the finished assembly will look like that right there. And what that gives you is it also gives you a, um, the center here is hollowed out so that you can slide it up onto the rear end tubes. And you also have room, if you want to use a photo etch rotor or whatever, you can put a photo etch rotor right over top of this, and it'll look real good, which is, that's what I'll be doing. Uh, you may have to drill your rotors out in the center a little bit to match this diameter of that hub, but once done, it looks very good. And uh, that's basically all there is to it, uh, as far as assembling them. Um, that's the way I do it. I've done it a couple of times like that. It's worked out real well for me. So... Um, like always, if you have any questions or concerns on this video, just uh, shoot me a message, and I'll be more than glad to get back to you on that. And like always, I thank you for watching, and we'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.